Okay. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to invite one of our bank groups here. And if you think I remember which one. Okay. Where's uh, Steve Hack? Ulster Savings um, has been one of our sponsors for several years. We're, we're delighted to have them as a sponsor. They're one of our larger regional banking institutions. We've had a great relationship and we're very happy that they're here this morning. And Steve's going to give us an overview of what they're doing in the small business venue. All yours, Steve. Thank you for the opportunity to come and uh, say a few words. Uh, uh, past couple of speakers were, were very good. Tamara has an organization there that I, I quite frankly, did, uh, was not aware of. And quite frankly, given loans up to $50,000 for small businesses is exactly uh, how we're going to get this economy and get small business, businesses rolling again. Um, where, how did we get here? Um, a lot of the easy answer is, well, the economy went bad, therefore banks aren't lending. I think it's a little more complicated than that. If you take a look at five years ago, if you walked into a bank with a business plan written on the back of a cocktail napkin, um, had marginal to decent credit, and had um, something that resembled collateral, we were all competing to get loans. Uh, you had an opportunity to um, uh, to, to, to get financing, and quite frankly, the underwriting standards four, five, six years ago were uh, probably lower than they needed to be. So um, part of that was the competition for, for the customers that were out there, but also the economy was booming, and if businesses failed, there were people there willing to buy the businesses, or there was collateral, or there was enough collateral in the pro equity in the property to get people out, so the exit strategy was much easier. Now, um, you're really married to, to, to the customer because the exit strategy is not nearly as easy as it was. Um, therefore, you've really got to feel comfortable with the deal that's in front of you. Uh, having said that, I'll talk real briefly about kind of what the community banking industry is doing to help small businesses. We've got, uh, I know John Dwyer, uh, Sean Bois, and Steve Sickler here are going to talk later. They are uh, uh, very good bankers and they're gentlemen themselves, so I'm sure they will have uh, uh, plenty of information to follow up on this, so I won't, won't steal their, their thunder entirely. Uh, but going forward, industries like hospitality, restaurants are going to be very, very difficult. Those are the ones that the banks have gotten stung with. Um, we're going to go into those almost to the point, or we're not going to go in, or we're going to go in very, very, very careful, carefully. Um, I believe it's going to be a long time before you see the restaurant and hospitality lending pick up to the degree that it was uh, five to ten years ago. Having said that, the other businesses, um, uh, whether it's business expansion or startups, banks are lending, we are lending, we're, uh, uh, we've got goals next year of, of surpassing uh, loan production than we've had the past several years. So we are looking forward to having a very good 2012 of working with both startups and business expansion uh, opportunities. The thing is, though, the rules have changed a little bit. Uh, we're going to be looking for, it's going to start with a business plan. The business plan's got to be thorough, um, well thought out, and probably getting some help, whether that help uh, is your uh, CPA or it's uh, an organization like Less is Here helps you, or um, whether or not you go to like the county and the Small Business Development Center, something like that. But it, it's no longer walking in with a with a business plan written on the back of a cocktail napkin is going to work. Personal guarantees are an absolute must. Um, if you're going to, uh, if you want us to, to lend you money, you're going to have to stand behind it with both a personal guarantee and adequate collateral, which in most cases is going to involve now some type of real estate, whether or not that's your home or another piece of property that you own. So collateral in the past, you heard about, heard about business deals going up to 80, 90 percent uh, loan to values. I, I think that those days are over. It's going to be more like 70 to 75 uh, maximum loan to values going forward. And the credit score, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> of a 550 is really, <laughs> you've got to get your personal credit scores in order. 
uh, 650 to 700 minimums of what we're going to be looking for, and we're going to look a little more closely, not just the number, but the history, any recent uh, uh, delinquencies are going to be a red flag for us. Um, community banks are also looking to, to mitigate the risk at every opportunity. We're going to involve uh, SBA, the Small Business Administration. We're going to look at area uh, community development corporations like New York Business Development Corporation as well as the Catskill Watershed, which also provides secondary financing. More and more banks are going to get involved with those organizations, so you're going to have kind of two lenders, a bank as well as one of these community development corporations to mitigate the risk of the bank. We're not going to be the only ones out there on some of the more riskier deals. So you're going to see more and more of that as we move forward. Banks are, are strengthening their relationships with their uh, lending partners. And the other big thing I've seen change just in the past couple of years now is the relationship after the loan is closed. It used to be once the loan closed and you were making your payments, you never heard from the bank. Um, everybody seemed happy. We were getting monthly payments. You got your financing. We were happy. Now the follow-up is going to be much more thorough. Um, instead of maybe asking for financials every couple of years, we're going to want annual and in some cases quarterly financial statements to better monitor the corporations going forward of existing customers. So those are a few of the things, a few of the challenges that, that we see. We are looking forward to lending quite a bit of money. 2012, we're, uh, we've got a loan portfolio of just shy of $150 million. We anticipate growing that in 2012, uh, as well as working very closely with our existing customers to try to strengthen our, our banking relationship. Last again, thank you for having us, and I appreciate the opportunity for addressing you this morning.